Hi everyone, I'm Yasmin. Welcome to another segment of Hungry for Change, the college edition, dorm life and healthy living. In this video, we're gonna talk about healthy snack options. Now, I am sure you would agree that in college, um, snack machines are everywhere on campus. For example, they're in the lecture halls, they're in the student centers, in our dorms, they're all over campus. But unfortunately, when it comes to the content of those machines, a typical vending machine company does not have our health or best interest in mind. So as students, you and I, we have to be smart when we're buying snacks because snacks can easily show up on the scale as five pounds at the end of the week or an extra three inches or they can show up as an extra three inches around the waist at the end of the week and it's not good. Now from experience I have found that um, uh, snacks can either be our best friend or our worst enemy. For example um, they are our best friends when we need that extra boost, that extra energy to sustain a workout or they can become our worst enemies when they are filled with empty calories. Um, for example, pork skins, potato chips, soda, hot dogs, those are really not good snacks because they're filled with empty calories. So I have some better options for your dorm room today. Um, we have the cheese sticks with cashews. We have the chewy uh, fiber one tree bar with apple or your favorite fruit. Um, next up we have the whole grain graham crackers with Swiss cheese and basil. This is really really phenomenal. As a matter of fact I grew up in Haiti with this cheese. Um, it's known in French as la vache qui rit, but in English it's called the laughing cow. It's a very creamy very spreadable um, Swiss cheese. Really really delicious. Um, next up we have the uh, sweet potato chips. No salt no butter added. Um, we have some um, pop corn and last next up we have the classic peanut butter sandwich with whole wheat bread and over here um, we have the fresh strawberries with Nutella um, I personally love Nutella and I call it personally the other creamy crack it's so so good um, next up we have the fresh pear with uh, this is a yogurt bar frozen yogurt bar under 90 calories you can't beat that and over here you have the honey roasted peanuts and next up um, we have a fresh cup of vanilla yogurt with slightly fresh mangoes now listen guys I know it is extremely impossible to eat clean 100% of the time and I know as ladies especially we do have those cravings during that time of the month and for us it could be chocolate and personally for me I love Little Debbie's Swiss rolls I've loved it for a very long time and this is not something that I buy and eat all the time but once in a blue moon and guess what after two days when I buy it it's completely gone and there's nothing wrong with that but the thing is what I'm trying to say basically is you know food is meant to be enjoyed okay but sweets and fried food should not be something that you do consistently it should be more of a luxury okay so enjoy the pie so if you know for instance that you work out consistently you know you go into the gym you eat healthy for the most part go ahead and have the cake and have the pie and have the ice cream it's okay now next up I want to talk to you about is when we go into the cafeteria for lunch I'm sorry for breakfast um, I have found that like for instance when you're getting your pancakes or your waffles the you have the option this is what I do I have found that the syrup in the cafeteria is extremely too sweet and so I bought the sugar-free syrup for my pancakes and I just take it with me to the cafeteria and that works just fine with me so I'm just kind of give you some ideas and some ways just to kind of cut down on your sugar intake okay so just think about that all right all right guys before we go I'm gonna show you what the inside of my fridge looks like and as well as make you a blueberry smoothie um, before we wrap up this video. So I know uh, if you're in college, 99% of us have like one of those other mini fridges in our room. So let me show you what I have in my refrigerator. Um, I have in here, I've always had Tupperware for years, so this is where I keep my fresh fruits in there. Um, I do have my fresh spinach and mango. Um, I have down here a bowl of apples and oranges and pears. Um, I do have a bag of carrots because I do juice. I still juice. Um, and one of the things that I'm learning is as a nutrition major, um, juicing is okay, but as I'm learning more about fruits and vegetables, 
um, you're really extracting the juice from the fiber. So eventually, I would like to upgrade to a Vitamix, which is a phenomenal machine. It helps you make fresh peanut butter, um, your own milk. You can actually make your fresh soups, hot soups with the machine. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. My whole purpose for showing you all this today was just kind of give you some tips and ideas on how to eat healthy in college. Um, just because, you know, life is stressful here when you're getting your degree, it doesn't mean that you have to eat just consistently okay so we're gonna move on to the smoothie today and let's go ahead and get it done I want to introduce you to one of my favorite smoothies today it's the blueberry smoothie because um, I know sometimes in the morning let's say you're running late for class right and you just don't have enough time for breakfast and but the thing is you don't want to skip breakfast anyway so I want to show you this really quick recipe okay it's just one cup of vanilla yogurt with uh, some slicey fresh mangoes in there Okay, a couple leaves of fresh basil, one cup of blueberries, frozen blueberries. And this is a half of an orange freshly squeezed with the pulp in there. And then you're gonna add in two tablespoons of whole grain oatmeal. Here we go. And if you like, you can also add in just a, just a little dash of cinnamon, just to give a little pizzazz. And, and that's it. And that's all. And guess what? You're running to class, you can just pick it up from the blender. I got this from Walmart for under $15. And you walk in class and you're having your healthy breakfast. I'm drinking this on behalf of every college student in America. This is so good. You can taste the basil, you can taste the mango, you can taste the yogurt. It's phenomenal. Now, in the next video, we're actually going to head to the college campus cafeteria too, um, just to meet some of you to hear how you feel about the food made available to you and what you'd like to see change on your college food menu. So that should be quite an interesting conversation. So listen, I have one favor to ask you. Um, if you know someone in college or if you're in college, please spread the word, subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'm so grateful that I get to do this because I'm passionate about this because I see so many young men and women, beautiful young men and women in college, overweight. And especially in her historically black university, we are eating too much junk and we're not exercising enough. And it's time that we, America's future, we change our lifestyles. It's time we begin to think differently about food. And guess what? If you know someone who's overweight or obese or who's diabetic or who's going through some sort of chronic illness, guess what? It's not just their problem. It's your problem, it's my problem because we are spending as a nation billions of dollars on healthcare every year. And that's the money that could be used on other things like scholarships, grants, um, better fitness programs, better fitness centers, and after school programs for the younger kids. And I'm gonna leave you with this one last thought, okay? This one final fact. 66% of Americans are overweight. 70% of college students will gain between 12 to 37 pounds by graduation. So that means by the time they reach their senior year, they will join the, the ranks of the already 66% of Americans who are already overweight. That, ladies and gentlemen, is too big of a number. And I hope that I was helpful to you today. Um, this wraps up our video. I'm Yasmin. I love you for watching, and I'll see you next time.